And in today's video, I'm going to walk you through how Google AdWords bidding strategies work, the different strategies that are available to you to use, and which ones you should definitely be using, and which ones you should definitely be staying away from, at least from the start. So simply put, a quick understanding of how AdWords bidding works. AdWords is an auction, okay? So every time a search query is typed into Google, it, it, you're entered into an auction if you're an advertiser advertising on Google, okay? So whoever bids the most is going to have their ad shown at different locations on the page, all right? So there's several different bidding strategies that Google gives you to be very competitive and to have your ads be shown a lot. And you know, the whole point is to get clicks and leads and all that good stuff. So go into your campaign in AdWords. Go down to settings, and we'll go under bidding. I'm going to walk you through all of the different bidding strategies and how they work and what they are that you can use. So let's start at the top, and we have the first one here is target CPA. Hover over it. Sets bids to get the most conversions possible while reaching your average cost per acquisition goal. So you tell Google. Google, I'm a roofer. I want $40 leads. Here's my budget. Google goes and does all the auto bidding behind the scenes to make sure that you get as close to possible as that CPA goal, that, that $40 that you want to spend. This strategy is not for beginners. This is for something that's a campaign or an account that's been running for a while, um, at least three months of historical data, I would say, in my opinion, that you should before you would even try this. And um, you should be spending at least $100 a day as well. That's just my opinion for best results. So that's target CPA. Next one is target return on ad spend. Pretty much kind of close to the first one here. It sets bids to help you get the most conversion value while maintaining your target return on ad spend. So instead of setting a target CPA, you're, you're setting a target return on ad spend. Okay, it, this is more advanced. I would just stay away from this for right now. The next one, maximize click. This is a great strategy. We use this a lot. So maximize clicks, sets bids to help you get the most clicks within your budget. So basically you're telling Google, have free reign, bid to get me the most traffic as possible within my budget. The only issue is, if you go into this, you got to make sure, this is very important, that you set a maximum CPC bid limit. Or else, because if you're a roofer and you say, and you know, you want clicks and your budget is $50 a day, if you let Google have free reign, and this does happen, I've seen it before, Sometimes they will bid ridiculous amounts of money, like $150 for a friggin' keyword. It's it's insane. So you've got to have this. You, any auto bid strategy should have a maximum CPC in place. Think of it as like a fail safe, just so you're not overspending and letting them go nuts. Maximize conversions. It's almost like maximize clicks, except it's maximizing the amount of conversions within your budget. It sets bids to help you get the most conversions within your budget. This is great for an account that has a lot of conversion history. Um, Usually three months, I'd say, at least $100 a day is the same thing. I wouldn't recommend running this without spending some money and having a rich uh, conversion history in the account. Target search page location. It sets bids to help you get your ads to the top of the page or on the first page of the search results. You can also do some bid adjustment percentage-wise. Like you can say, hey, Google, I want to be at the top of your search results. Up bid. I'm going to increase my bid by 10% just so you put me into a, a number one or number two spot or whatever. So that's an option you can do there too. Target outranking share is simply put, you can outbid your competitor. So if you have a competitor that you always just want to show ahead of no matter what, and a lot of lawyers do this, you can just bid out, you can tell Google their domain and Google will make sure your ad is always above them no matter what. Enhance CPC, adjust your manual bids up or down to help you increase conversions. So it's pretty simple. I mean, if you're doing manual CPC, you're setting the bids yourself. If you enable enhanced CPC on your manual strategy, when Google sees an opportunity to get more leads for your budget, they'll they'll move on it. And they'll bid a little bit more. And those are really, that's it. I mean, it's pretty simple stuff. So the two that you want to live in right now, if you're just getting started out or you're trying to turn a campaign around, is manual CPC with enhanced CPC enabled and maximize clicks with a maximum CPC bid limit set. So if you don't know what to set your maximum CPC bid limit at, let's say, let's give you an example here. Let's say you're a roofer who's spending $100 a day. You want a max CPC bid of like 30 bucks, $31. You do not want to pay more than $31 for a click because now you're saying to Google, all right, well, I'm willing to pay 31 a click, but now you're only going to get three clicks a day and your budget's used up. So you go, 
start low and then incrementally increase that. That's the best way to do it. Okay. So if you guys have any questions about any of these bidding strategies, drop them in the video below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Give me a thumbs up. Check out the links in the description. There's one to our Facebook group and one to a free ebook. We, we uh, teach you how to optimize your AdWords campaign or even turn around a shitty campaign if that's what it takes. So other than that, I will see you guys in the group or the next video.